Hello again dreamers, it's Anna and welcome to another DIY challenge video. In today's video I've got some funky storage solutions that could save you a trip to the store to buy more plastic containers and it's also just a fun and easy way to recycle and repurpose some half sold items that you have lying around your house. If this sounds right up your alley, please continue watching, but don't forget to subscribe to Dreamer Designs and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any more videos. If you guys remember Natalia's Increasing Your Speed video in her 101 series, then you might remember seeing a chocolate box on there that she uses for her trays. Well, if you don't have enough trays or if you have a chocolate box that is smaller, then I have a couple things that you can use it for. So I have this small chocolate box here, and I kept the inside part to put drills in. Now you can use this as a permanent storage solution, and you can put all your drills in here and use a baby spoon to transfer these drills to your tray and back. Or if you want something to put a few drills of each color in to quickly grab and put the drills down that you accidentally miss while you're working so you don't have to reach to your other permanent solution so it will save you time. And you can also do that with an egg carton. You can use this as a permanent storage solution like the chocolate box, but this has more of more spaces so you have more room or you can do what I said before and you can use it for like a couple drills so if you miss some spots and you can go back quickly and put them in there and if you have eggs laying around plastic Easter eggs you can cut them in half or break them in half and put them down as such and you can use this as a permit solution and it's just easier to grab pour and then put back now if you want to repurpose a household item, I have a cupcake container with cupcake liners and I've got my drills here and no baby spoon required here. All you have to do is pick these up, pour, and then pour back when you're done. And to label these, if you guys are wondering how to label these, you can write on Sharpie with this and you can save it for another project. You can put labels on this and write that, write the, write the GMC number down in this symbol and then you can just peel it off. And with this, you can write with Sharpie and then when you're done with it, you can use alcohol wipes to take the Sharpie off. Now, if you really want to get creative and want to go completely plastic free, I have this right here for you. These are toilet paper rolls that I cut in half and I put paper on the bottom like this and I used tape so I guess it's not completely plastic free <laughs> but I put tape on the bottom or you can use glue I just put tape down to secure it down more and then I put my drills here and I used cardboard for the box and to label these you can use sharpie on tape and then use alcohol wipes to take that off or you can use a label and write on that and then you can just tear the label off. If you guys want to spice these up more so they don't look like your recyclables, you can um, spray paint these. You can use marker. You can use washi tape, stickers to really give these guys a fresh new look. It's also a really good way to increase your imagination and your creativity and to really show off what you guys got and if you guys are looking for a way to store your leftover drills you can use a mini bottle like so and you can take the label off using Goo Gone or something like that and using leftover drills for other crafty things is another good way to increase your imagination and your creativity and if you guys are looking for some ideas, stick around for the next video because I have something to show you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I know some of these sound a little far-fetched, but they are good for the environment and they do save you some money in the long run. If you guys have any other suggestions, please don't hesitate to leave a comment below. And if you guys want to try some of these storage solutions out, please don't forget to tag us, Dreamer Designs on Facebook or Instagram and use my hashtag Anna's DIY challenge video. If you guys haven't yet, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to Dreamer Designs and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out any new videos. Don't forget to paint with passion and I will see you next time.